What's up, guys? Chris with Croft CNC here, uh, going live from our new location in Miami. Um, a little bit of a rough day, as you can tell. The prescription glasses are on, trying to keep uh, headaches and seizure activity to a minimum. So, um, what I wanted to do today was talk about uh, cabinet software integration. I've been playing with two softwares as of late. Uh, one of them uh, is a pretty well-known one. The other one is kind of a, um, it's a, it's a free software, but it only puts out one uh, post-process G code, and that's from Mach 3. Um, so wanted to talk a little bit about the two of those real quick. And, uh, as soon as I get my, uh, facility in order, um, my one car garage is going to house my CNC for newbies, uh, four by eight rack and pinion machine and, uh, go from there. Uh, but I, uh. I will be doing some cabinet builds because the new house that we have needs a lot of uh, updating decor work and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to be doing some custom cabinetry and, and whatnot on the CNC. Uh, so the, the first software that um, is kind of industry known, uh, they have multiple post processors for multiple machines but they do not have a Gerbil post processor, uh, and that's Mosaic. M-O-Z-A-I-K, Mosaic. Um, Mosaic is a really cool software. Um, they have a pre-established library. Um, it's a monthly subscription, and the monthly subscription is $125. Uh, a month for the design, the nesting, or they call it optimization, and the uh, CNC operator. Um, so basically the post processor. And it is Mosaic, Mosaic and the other software doesn't really do anything different than, um, than say like VCarve other than it gives you an environment, a 3D environment where you can actually see your assembly, uh, your assembled cabinet. And then they have libraries of custom made cabinets already. Um, and that's nice because you can put in a shaker style cabinet um, pretty quick, uh, just with the click of a button. Um, you upload the cabinet out of the library, um, and, and then you start putting in the sizes, changing it how you want it and going from there. Um, and what Mosaic does is it breaks apart the cabinet assembly into each of the pieces and then the optimizer nests, uh, the best use of material um according to what what assemblies need cut and what your tooling and stuff is so um you can basically integrate it that way um and it will output a g code uh right now they have a direct mock 3 post processor um i'm working with them right now to set up a gerbil post processor um for the Millwright uh, CNC for newbies, X Car, Shape Oko, all of those. Um, you can use this software to make smaller uh, assemblies on the X Car, uh, the normal X Car, or the Shape Oko. But it really shines through in the four by eight to four, four by four to four by eight range. Um, 
industrial sized machines um, because then you can utilize the full sheet of MDF. You can do 36 inch tall cabinets um, and stuff like that. So um, as I said, the first software that we're looking at is Mosaic. And let me see if I can bring that up for you. Um, uh, let's see here. Okay. Share screen. Window. Mosaic software. There you go. Okay. So this is your basic Mosaic software. Um, and this is what the environment looks like. As I said, uh, it's just a cabinet specific CAD design program. It's not, it's not necessarily a parts design program. It's, its primary function is cabinet design and orientation. Okay. Um, the mosaic CNC complete is what you're going to want if you want to use it. Um, it is 125 a month. They charge you um, your first three months uh, up front, and then they charge you monthly after that. Um, but they have uh, full libraries of pre-designed cabinets, and you can slice and, and copy cabinets. Um, they give you a 3D uh, environment where you can actually see like a, a ki kitchen setup and stuff of that nature. Um, so you don't you don't just need a CNC for this. Um, they do give cut lists and stuff like that where you can print them out and basically cut them yourself to size, but it'll uh, it'll do it for you. Um, so that was that one. Let me see if I can. All right. Um, the next the next software that I've really been playing a lot with um, since getting here to Miami is the e cabinet system six. Um, this is this is primarily for a um, Mach three system, um, you know. So you can use the the UC uh, controllers and things like that. Um, but this this is actually a really nice setup for. Um, the Mach 3 design. So you're going to add the job. Um, it'll output the file. And then you'll just take that TWD file and convert it to a tap file in Notepad. And you'll be good to go. Um, so you can actually um, go in. Okay, so this is uh, different cabinet styles. Uh, let's go to American. Let's do this standard. And then it'll break all that out for for you. Uh, it's 30 inch cabinet. Um, you can explode it if you want. Um, this will actually write a proposal for you for the cost of it. Um, you can do your drawer box. You can do your face frame. Um, so if I select all this, And I can do something like that. I can do face frame editor. Um, 
I can do top rails, styles. Um, you know, you can you can adjust the height openings. Um, you know, just in general, there's there's a lot of a lot of stuff that you can adjust on these. Um, we can go back to the main cabinets. The we can delete this. Um, you know, s systems like this. Um, you basically just keep moving everything or removing everything. Okay. We'll go to the American Contemporary. Um, and we'll do a coffee desk. Uh, we're going to do different pull styles. Um, we'll add all hardware, black laminate, um, what the cost is, what the size is. Um, and cost is... Let's say that's a hundred dollars a sheet. Um, let's make that two seventy five a sheet. Um, so now okay. You'll have to excuse me. I'm still trying to learn this. Um, the material is not found. There we go. Oh, I didn't have all of them in. Okay. Now it's loading all this up for me okay uh, we can change the materials and and everything like that um, that's the buy list that's the cost list that's the cut list so I can actually see all of these um, we can save that image we can add molding to it. Um, we can set different construction. Um, and All right, that's the assembly marks where you're going to actually put everything together, different shapes, all your settings, and we can actually do a full custom layout, batch cabinets, one cabinet assembly or door assembly uh, designer. Uh, we can nest it and we can CNC output. And that's it. Now we'll add the job. And you can export
uh, and and you can actually go and load these files into um, your your uh, setup and create the TWD file. That's a Thermawood um, file output system. So you kind of have to know a little bit of advanced features of of G code. Um, but I mean, it's really nothing, um, super extravagant. Um, okay. So we'll do something like that and now we can do this setup with that drawer front. Um, now we have a door to them that matches and we can just kind of keep going through and we'll build a a whole setup um, that's we can adjust all the features here and they'll actually give you a list that you can uh, that you can you can do um, cabinets all right and then you can import and it's it's your basic design system it's just you have to find where all this stuff is at like i said i'm not i'm not great at this yet because i'm still doing this and i'm trying to learn two softwares at one time uh on top of trying to set everything up for the move but uh for you guys that have the bigger machines right now um this is a great way to get your house kind of uh, customized and it's a great way for you to start implementing um, you know when when your machine is not going to be in use start start learning a new skill like cabinet making because you can cut the dados you can cut the individual pieces in batch setup um, something that would take you all day to to kind of set up each each machine and hand finish and everything you can do in about an hour uh, on the CNC with this. So um, just something to take a look at. Um, you may have to uh, run this through a uh, different a different program, a different post processor for a Gerbil setup. Um, that's that's your basic ordeal. You know, you, you're gonna have to work around the confines of this stuff. What's really nice about the e-cabinet system is it's a free software, so you know you don't have to pay anything for it. But it's not as intuitive as say the Mosaic system. So as you guys start doing this stuff, you can create cabinets, um, export them as a DXF or, or an STL, um, especially like a cabinet door. You can export that as an STL and then import that STL into vCarve and put three-dimensional carvings on top of it. 
And when you put the three-dimensional carvings on top of it, that'll make it look really custom and really cool. So just something that I wanted to share with you guys that I'm kind of teaching myself and figured you guys might get uh, a little bit of knowledge and use out of. So take a look at these two things, and I'll catch you on the flip side.